Another morning, another day, right on schedule. Well, it's a little early, but that's okay. Better early than late. We're about to officially start the day as soon as I get my hands on a cup of Tim's here. I can get my wallet out of my pocket. Every time I do that, I get to take it out before I sit down in the truck. Okay, so today is another day of training. Uh, I was training all day yesterday. I'll be training all day today, tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I think yesterday went pretty well. So today uh, he's going to be getting me to be doing mostly everything while he watches. Uh, and hopefully uh, I can impress him. And hopefully he can go off without a hitch. And that uh, we can get the ball rolling so that, you know, I can get out there in the wild. Another new thing that I'm getting used to is the fact that I'm pulling Super B trains, which is two trailers with two pivot points. So you got a pivot point on the fifth wheel of the truck, and then you got a fifth wheel attached to the frame of the first trailer, making the second pivot point. So you got a tandem behind the truck, two axles behind the truck, then you got a tritum, or three axles under the bridge. That's where the second trailer connects onto the first trailer and then you got a tandem at the back so with these units we can haul a lot more weight we can haul up to 62,500 kgs or just under 138,000 pounds and yesterday we did that very close to that weight every single load so it was very heavy weights there's two trailers uh, so I've got to get comfortable with backing them up which I'm not worried about take me uh, you know give me a couple of tries at it and I'll figure it out I'll go I'll get it I can do it and uh, get used to the new weight systems and uh, you know, just the, the concept of having a train behind you and not just one trailer I mean, turning corners is different the little things like that but for the most part training is going well uh, I've got all the experience I need to feel confident and we'll see what today brings. Like I said, today I'm going to be doing most of the most of the work, and the trainer's going to be watching me. Wish me luck. On our way home, a little bit of a short day today. That's okay. So we got done at probably oh, just before three o'clock. So we pulled those two loads. I believe I'm going to be pulling those same two loads tomorrow on my own. I got to double check in the morning yet and see if that's what they have planned for me, but. If that's the case, uh, then I'm just repeating what we did today, tomorrow, on my own. A lot of fun, learning all kinds of stuff. You know, it's pretty cool to be in the process and involved in it, uh, in how people... What's that guy got? Oh, he lost a firewood. He lost a firewood, I just said that. Lost a piece of firewood. <laughs> It's really cool to be a part of the process of how the food gets from the farmer to your plate. You know? And like I said earlier, they haul anything. We'll haul anything that you can put in the hopper. As far as I know. I got a lot of learning to do yet though. It's just my second day. Give me a break. <laughs> Great people though. Looking forward to tomorrow. I hope they do send me out of my own. I feel I'm ready feel I'm ready, but you know, I gotta double check in the morning and see what happens. Uh, if they do, it'll be in a day cab. Uh, I believe they have a Mack truck uh, ready for me to pull that around. So how many of you are grain haulers? Lots of you. How many of you are grain haulers in Europe or like somewhere else other than North America? I'm just learning about the process now here in North America and it's pretty cool. I'm wondering if it would be similar in Europe and maybe Australia, other places around the world. Out here on the prairies, it's a huge industry, huge. Obviously, this is where your food comes from. So it comes from the farmer. And I haven't gone to pick it up at a farmer yet, but apparently that's gonna happen. We'll pick it up from the farmer, bring it to the mill or the, or the elevator, or sometimes we pick it up at the elevator, bring it to another elevator, or bring it to, you know, wherever it needs to go. It's, pick it up where it is and we bring it to where it needs to be. Pretty straightforward. 
but from there I mean it'll get bounced around a little bit and then it'll get onto a train head out to the coast and a lot of this end up on the other side of the world a lot of it ends up right here all a lot of the breads and foods that we have right here in Manitoba come from Manitoba farmers and I might haul some of it so next time you're uh, eating your toast in the morning think of me it might have been on my truck Give it some time though. I'm <laughs> pretty sure there's quite a process and I just started. All kinds of stuff you can put in those trailers too. That van royally cut off everybody before the mini. Why is it always a minivan? What is it with minivans and aggressive driving? Have you guys noticed this too? I think I've talked about this before. Minivan drivers are aggressive. Don't you guys like got kids in there or something? It's always a minivan or a Dodge or a Dodge minivan. I better take it easy on Dodge though, you know. I hope you guys know I'm joking too. Actually, I think Dodge vehicles are pretty good. I think pretty much every make, it doesn't matter who makes it, they're all pretty much the same. Like I said before, I'm just on Team Chevy. So everything about me is going to be Chevy. I don't even like GMC that much, but, you know, my wife's a big fan of GMC. My father-in-law's got a GMC. I just like the, I just like the bow tie. It's my thing. So it'll be another early start tomorrow. At least I'm getting home today before the sun goes down. That's not bad for this time of year. Not bad at all. You, sir are speeding. Why are you glaring at me? What did I do? It's glaring at me. Why don't you like me? What? What did I do? Maybe he just glares at everyone that way. Maybe he's not really angry. Maybe he just looks angry. You know those people that no matter what they do, they always look angry. But really they're in a good mood. They confuse me. So I apologize guys if you were hoping for a longer vlog the past couple of days. Like I said, just been focusing on what I need to learn. Hoping to create some longer format videos for you in the near future once I get a grasp on everything that's going on and get full confidence in myself and let everyone around me get full confidence in me. Big transition in my life, but I think it's good. Been having a lot of fun like I've been saying and saying it over and over. So we're hauling grain. So it'll be on the prairies of Canada. Uh, I'll be focused mainly on Manitoba. So we'll be right here tomorrow. Hope to see you here. Try to get a little bit more footage tomorrow. So it's a little bit of a longer content vlog for you. We'll see what happens. I'll do my best, okay? Scouts honor. Is that what they do? Scouts. I gotta go to bed because I gotta be up early. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>